All right, Mr. Boone here back for 11.3. We're going to talk about independent and dependent events. Now, independent events uh, are events that one happening does not affect the next one happening. It's like when you toss a coin. Okay, you're going to get heads or tails, but whatever you get on the first one doesn't change the probability of getting heads or tails on the second one. And so those are what we call independent events. All right, so one does not change the probability or affect the other one from happening. So in order to find the probability of A and B both happening, is you just take the probability of A times the probability of B. So multiply the two probabilities together. Here are some examples. All right, independent events, there we go. All right, so uh, six-sided cube. Now this is a non-regular die. This is one that has a one, two twos, and then three threes. Those are the six sides. So it's kind of modified die is what it is. Now four of the sides are colored red, one is white, and one is yellow. That actually is extraneous information. We don't need that for this case. But what's the probability of tossing a two and then a two again? Well, the probability of tossing a two, as we know before, is there's two favorable outcomes out of six. So two, six, or one third. Now, when I pick up the die again, just because what I rolled on the first doesn't change the probability. It's still the same. So we're going to have one third again. So what we're going to do is take one third times one third. There's a one ninth probability of both events. Just multiplying together is what you do. All right, let's take a look at this. Now, same type of weird die that we have again. Again, four sides are colored red. One is white and one is yellow. What's probably of tossing a red? Well, that's four out of six or two thirds. Probably should write that down, huh? So two thirds. And then white, well, one side is white, so that's one out of six. And then yellow, okay, so we go there. All right, 36. So again, multiply those together, we'd have two. Uh, let's see, that would be, what, 108? Uh, or one out of five, one out of 54 chance is what that would be, again, if you want to reduce your fractions there. Okay, so again, just multiply the probabilities together. It's just that simple. All right. So now we have independent events. Well, obviously, logically, the next thing to talk about is dependent events. Now, this occurs when an event that happens changes the probability of the next thing from happening. And most of the time, what's going to happen is when you're drawing, when you're taking cards out of a deck or drawing out of a bag, it's when you're not putting it back. Because obviously, that changes the probability because you don't have as many things to draw from. So some examples of that, um, I thought this was a good example here. If I can get this working, there it is. Okay. There it is. This is a good example. I think this is a good picture of those little tree diagrams we had before. In a bag, let's say we had two lemons and one lime. Well, when I reach in and grab, uh, you know, I have a two out of three chance of getting a, a lemon and a one out of three chance of getting a lime. Now, if I don't put it back, okay, that's going to make it dependent because my probability is going to change. If I draw a lemon first, well, now I have a one out of two chance of drawing a lemon or a lime. But if I draw the lime first, well, I have zero chance of getting another lime because there's only one in there to start with. And then I'm for sure going to get a lemon on my second pull if that's what it is. Now, if I put the fruit back, no, that would be independent. But because, uh, because we're changing the probability, we're changing it, that makes it dependent uh, is what we do there. So you might say, well, how do you compute the probability of that happening? Well, it's kind of similar to what we did. The probability of dependent events, it's the probability of A happening times the probability of B given, that's what that line means, given that A has occurred. So again, you're still going to multiply the probabilities together uh, when you do it. It's just that the, the probability of B is going to change a little bit because you're not replacing in most cases. So here's the case here. Two number cubes are rolled, one white and one yellow. I'm guessing, the, you know, assuming that we're one through six like we normally are. Uh, why are they dependent? Now the white cube shows a six and the sum is greater than nine. So here's why it's dependent because if the white cube is a six, that increases the chances of our sum being greater than nine. If, if the white cube showed a one, we have zero chance of getting a sum of nine. So that makes the difference. So how do you find the probability? Well, you take the probability of A, so the white cube shows a six, well that's one out of six. All right, now if the white cube is a six, let's think, what would we have to roll on the second die in order to get uh, in order to get a sum greater than 9. Well, we'd have to have a 4, a 5, or a 6 is what we'd have to have. So the probability of rolling a 4, 5, or 6, again, would be 1 half, or 3, 6. So our total probability is multiplying those two together. We're taking the probability of A and the probability of B, given that A has occurred. Okay, so then we'd have our 1 12th would be what that is.
Okay, so again, got to take that probably of A times the probability of B given that A has occurred. All right. All right, so now let's talk about our deck of cards. Some of you are more familiar with cards than others. Here's a nice slide. You can always go back. I'll make the slides available online for you. Uh, but again, we have four suits, uh, ace through king. So we have 13 of each suit. We have spades, diamonds, clubs, and hearts. And again, we call face cards, of course, are the jack, queen, and kings. So we're familiar. So 52 possible is what we have here. Let's look at some probabilities relating to cards now. And refer back to this slide if you're not familiar with the deck of cards. All right. What's the probability of selecting two hearts when the first heart is the first card is replaced? Well, uh, hearts, you know, it's a, basically a one out of four chance of getting a heart, right? One out of four, because uh, you have four suits. All right. So, what's the probability of getting uh, it on the second time? Well, if you replace it, it's still the same. It's still one out of four. So we get a one out of sixteen chance of replacing that. So again, taking the probabilities there, that was deep. That was independent because we replaced. All right, now let's change it up a little bit. What's probably of selecting two hearts when the first card is not replaced? So I get a heart on the first one, that's one out of four. All right, well now what happens is there's only 12 hearts left, and out of the original 52, since I don't put it back, it's 51. So we're gonna have to put those back, it's gonna be 12 out of 204 is gonna be our, our uh, probability. Again, you have to kind of take, the, the, we've changed the probability of that second one. And again, when we don't replace, that's where it's dependent is what we have there. All right, how about this? A queen is drawn, not replaced, and then a king is drawn. Well, now a queen, remember, there's four queens out of the 52, so that's a one out of 13 chance if I reduce that. All right, now there's four kings that could be drawn, and since I did replace it, that means there's 51 cards left. We'd have to multiply those two together and figure out the probability there are four out of whatever 13 times 51 is. Okay, and that's our probability of what we get there. Okay, so uh, remember, independent is when the probability of one does not change. Probably the second one happening, dependent, the first one happening does change that probability. All right, so you're ready to go for 11.3 worksheets. Check them, try them, check them with the keys. Email me if you have some questions. Thank you. We'll see you next time.